Well, hello there. Um, I got a, a different type of video for you today. Um, this is a video about getting you out of the house. Um, when you're in your 40s and 50s um, as a miniature painter, or uh, you need to try to do more exercise, so the doctor has told me. Um, so it's a case of how do I implement getting fitter, losing some body mass, and you know enjoying my hobby at the same time so what i'm doing now is um taking my camera or you know, it doesn't matter if it's a camera or your mobile phone i like to use a little camera i don't like carrying mobile phones um but uh, this little camera it's just a simple little camera it's got a video recorder on there it takes very nice videos actually um it's only it was about 70 pounds it's probably even cheaper now because it's quite old um but you can pick these up on ebay cheap but the thing with it is if you go out in the world get out out of the house and get your lazy butt out of that chair <laughs> talking to myself here um you can take photographs of all sorts of things um to give you inspiration for your miniatures and not only that it makes it more fun it makes it more fun um, because it's something else for the hobby. I mean, I already go into the countryside and pick twigs and I get my sand from the beaches, but I need to try and do more walking. I need to do more exercise, get out the house more. So what I'm doing now is I'm going on little adventures with my camera um, and every day um, I'll go out and uh, take photographs. Um, and uh, just the other day I took an absolutely beautiful uh, video of um, a caterpillar. But this caterpillar looks like it could be from Dungeons and Dragons, you know. It's got beautiful greens. And I'll show you, I got a little video of it, so I'll show you this at the end of the, um, the video. But all I'm trying to say is if you, uh, with this hobby, even though it's a sitting down on your bum hobby, um, it's still so important to do some exercise as well as um, because in this uh, day and this generation of young people as well, um, so many people are now just sitting down playing computer games in their spare time or painting miniatures in their spare time. And what we're forgetting to do is keep fit. Um, I mean, I'm overweight, big time overweight. Uh, and I need to lose weight so why not share my adventures on how I'm trying to lose weight and put it into the hobby so try it um, get your camera take photographs old castles you can go for old walls you see the the greens on the walls old trees are fantastic to take photographs of um, and all sorts of things um, and you can use the colors and the references for all your miniatures um, I do it all the time um, and it really has pushed me to go out for walks and makes it more exciting. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly show you this little video of a caterpillar. <laughs> As you can see, that caterpillar, the colours are just absolutely phenomenal. They're absolutely, I was, it was, it was a huge, I've never seen a caterpillar so big. <laughs> and it, it just reminded me of the Colonel Grub from, uh, from Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that. Um, and you could definitely, definitely use that colour scheme on a monster from Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so this is this is my new hobby my extended hobby it's still part of dungeons and dragons and fantasy pathfinder and all my fantasy games is part of my part of my miniature painting um but why not it's uh it, it just makes it great to go out into the countryside or the city because you'll find things in the city as well um and it's one way for us hobbyists to keep a healthy heart as well so until next time.